it's good for him to get out and, and do some fun scientific stuff. It's kind of sad that he's not going to be home, but it's only a week. Why do you have the men in line marching in rhythm? Why are they wearing these bright red coats? Why do they have a fife and drum playing? The cheapest weapon in war is intimidation. Well, I'm uh, Pierre Schuller in charge of this fort, and I have to judge the comparative intimidation uh, uh, capabilities of British regulars attacking this fort versus Iroquois skirmishers. <laughs> Case studies in science were medical mysteries, and um, to, today we're actually doing a case where an individual has come in or called us, and her family has had a number of family members go with food poisoning, and they don't know what caused it. She suspects applesauce. These guys suspect something different, and they're trying to figure out what tests they need to do to figure out where the food poisoning came from. Hi, my name is Adam. I'm teaching a build a mobile robot class where we work with these Lego kits. We can actually build them from scratch as you would a normal Lego, and then we can actually program them to do any certain tasks. We um, attempted to create an autonomous robot that can um, find candy, collect it on its own. We have really sharp students here. I'm amazed every year we, we seem to be getting sharper and sharper kids. It's really amazing to work with them. It's lunchtime. This is the What's Up Doc class. Today we're doing a suture lab where the students are learning how to tie surgical knots and practice in using pig skin. And this is an activity so they can learn about specifically the surgical path in medicine, but throughout the this class trying to expose them to different types of practice of medicine and show them what it takes to get into the medical field. Today we're just eating dinner at the Empanada Stop, uh, waiting for some live music coming on in a few minutes, so it should be good. This is the Rochester Public Market, downtown Rochester. Uh, there's all sorts of food, we got a lot of vendors selling like hats, sunglasses, shirts, all sorts of things like that. I thought it was really good because you get the experience of living on a college campus and living with people, living in a dorm, waking yourself up on your own. Fun class uh, experiences, learning about um, uh, tactics of warfare, history of warfare, both of which were engaging and very exciting classes. Well, everything was great. I mean, uh, the classes were great. I learned a lot and uh, I made a lot of friends. Overall, Rochester Scholars was um, eye-opening experience and it allowed me to view the college life through high school students eyes as well as try new things I never would have been able to try. 